Hello and welcome back to another Elden Ring Guide video. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys one of the best PvP talismans for Faith users, at least in my opinion. So if you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like and subscribe for more content like this. So let's get the video started. All right, so the talisman I'm talking about is the Concealing Veil Talisman. What that talisman does is it makes you invisible to the in PvP, so they can't see you at a certain distance. If you get a little closer, they'll start, they'll see you. But you have to be a certain distance to be invisible. And you have to stay crouched. If you stand up, it breaks the invisibility. If you remove the talisman, it breaks it. Anything offensive, like, you know, you do a spell or a weapon or, you, you know, you drink a thing, it'll, it'll reveal you. So what makes this talisman so good is if you pair it with long-range spells and you can sneak up on your enemy in PvP, especially the Frenzy Burst. If you hit them with the Frenzy Burst in, your faith, in a faith build, and you have the Frenzy Talisman. You use this Frenzy Flame Seal. You can instantly put them in the Frenzy State, which allows you to get another shot off, which, you know, nine times out of ten is going to one-shot them or kill them. So I wanted to share with you guys how to get this Talisman. So you're going to go to the Sage's Cave. It's going to be in the Atlas Plateau in this exact area right here. From the abandoned coffin, you're just going to run north along through the water until you go right here, and there's going to be the Sage's Cave. And now in the Sage's Cave, you're going to go through, proceed through the whole thing until the end boss. It's going to be a little invisible wall. Now ignore that. You're just going to proceed through. You're going to want to hit this invisible wall to your right. You know, loot these chests if you want. Get a Lost Osha War. You get a stab in your back. Get two stabs in your back. You're going to keep going. Loot these items. Give me another invisible wall. Bunch of chests in this room. Alright, in these chests are silver pickled foul foot. Now, quick tip with these skeleton guys. When you down them the first time, if you don't gain any runes for killing them, just make sure you double tap them. And you'll gain your runes. You get the black hood. Candle tree, wooden shield. And a butterfly. Pick this item up. You're just going to proceed through the cave. If you guys like the torch, this torch. Uh, I made another video about how to get all the torches. If you guys just want to check that out. Keep going through the cave. There's also another invisible wall. It's just another chest. Just a stone sword cave in that chest. And in those two chests, you get dragon wounds grease and raptor talons. You're gonna, you're gonna jump across right here. Preferably not while getting smacked. It's going to be the Raptor's Black Feathers. Skeletal Mask. Another Invisible Wall. And right here is the boss. And you're going to fight the Necromancer. You're going to get a Family Heads weapon. Alright, after you beat that boss, you're just going to come back up out of the way you came. Do not go through the exit portal. I'm going to jump across the waterfall again. Keep going down. And here you're going to see another fog wall. And this is the one where you get the talisman. Behind here is going to be a black knife assassin. Just kill this boss. It's going to be invisible. Now, if you have this specific torch, you're going to be looking at the sentry's torch. If you have this... You'll be able to see him even though he's invisible. Now, a neat thing with this torch is you could put it on your back and you'll still be able to see him. That way to make this fight a little easier for you. So you don't have to, you know, look at the floor and stuff like that. You could just beat him like this, like normal. And just like that, once you beat him, you're going to get the Concealing Veil. 
And as, uh, as you can see, it says conceals wearer while crouching away from foes. It says completely conceals the wearer's presence while crouching at a distance from your foes. Now, this is the talisman you're going to want to need use in PvP as it makes you invisible. And it's a really good uh, option. Now, I want to showcase the talisman in a bit of PvP. All right, so as you can see, he doesn't know I'm here. He does not know where I am. I'm not statted for fate, so I doubt that I'll one-shot them, but... See, so right now he doesn't know where I am. I'm going to try to get behind this bush. So he did instant dodge it, so... But he didn't know where I was because I was crouched, so... If you're a faith user, this, this is really good for you. And just combine Frenzy Burst with Frenzy... Talisman. Alright, so I showcased it enough in PvP. Like I said, I'm not statted for faith. Well, hopefully you uh, faith users you know, like this video and are able to use this to its full ability. It's really cool that you have like a stealth mechanics. I know other Dark Souls did too, but I just like the long range kind of snipes. It uh switches up the meta a little bit from the, you know, bleeds that bleeds and moon veils and all that fun stuff you know so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like leave a comment down below let me know what you guys think and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more content uh i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye